part two of the uh, battle for Arizona. We're visiting with uh, head coach of the uh, Arizona Wildcats, Chad Berman. Chad, welcome to the show again today. Thank you. Uh, it's always nice to come back to this rink after a win, right? I don't know. It's first time. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, it's a big win for us, but it's just one win. So we're excited to uh, get at it again. And, and uh, you know, we're happy with our performance, but we think we've got more to give for sure. Talk about last night a little bit. You guys played, you know, pretty solid on both sides. 1-1 one, one after the first. Then you guys get the only two goals in the second. And then what happens in the third period? It's like you blew the doors out this place. Yeah, um, you know, I don't, I don't think by any means that was their A game. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure it was ours either. Um, you know, all I can say is this is the same energy we've had all week in practice. It's been the best week of practice we've had. Uh, we definitely need the mental refresher, the break. Um, but I think, you know, there's something that can be said for when you go through a frustrating first semester, when you have 10 injuries, you get down to 2D and you start getting those guys back. There's just a lot of life that can put back into a team. And uh, I think that's part of the energy we felt this week. And it's been in the ice. And then obviously you add a kid like Zaleski with speed. Um, you know, it really uh, adds to the dynamic, I think, of what we can accomplish this semester. And Zaleski was one of the guys that got a goal for you last night, right? Yeah, and an odd angle shot. He's, uh, you know, he's a smart player. He, he finds a way. And kids like that find a way to score. Um, you know, I don't think that's a real high percentage goal from where he scored on. But... Um, yeah, a kid like that makes good decisions, put pucks in the right areas. You can tell he's rusty, he hasn't played in a year, so I mean, I think we're seeing 70% of what he's really capable of being. Um, so that's good news for us, and uh, we're just, you know, really thrilled he decided to come here. And I talked about um, last night to some people up in the press box about how complete a game that was. It started with your goaltender. Austin was uh, very sharp for you last night, right? Yeah, it was, it was the best we've seen him since last season, I would say. Um, you know, it's tough when you have sporadic practice when goalies aren't getting shots it's it's tough so um you know we were able to battle through the first semester and here we are but uh i would say the biggest thing i noticed out of austin it, and again it was the same thing we noticed in the week of practice is he's really seeing and tracking the puck better uh we practiced more this week than we did in the entire month of october so um you know it makes a difference and, and it looked to me like he was tracking pucks really well um he was engaged uh, we're going to go with Garrett tonight because he's earned the right to have the opportunity as well. And, um, you know, at some point, one of those two is going to have to separate themselves down the stretch. Then when you look at your forward lines and your defensemen, you guys were blocking a ton of shots last night. I mean, it seemed like you really frustrated ASU as far as not allowing them to get the quality shots that they look forward to. Yeah, I, we, I, we talk about it in the room all the time. There's no greater, uh, there's no better way to tell your teammates how bad you want to win than putting your body in front of a puck. Uh, so to me, that's a reflection of us as a group, understanding what we're up against and what we want to accomplish. I didn't see any, any panic. I thought we played with some pretty good poise. Uh, but when you see guys when you see guys putting their body in front of pucks, like, that's contagious. That runs down the bench. Um, a great example to me was in the third period, Mike Damien, who's been a tremendous addition for us. On a five on three, we're up six goals, you know, in under 10 minutes left. And the kid blocks two shots and, and good for him. He got rewarded for a breakaway. Uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff that defines what kind of team we can become. That was exactly what I was going to say. That was the play I thought was pretty defining, too. Yeah. You guys were in the penalty box a few times. And Too I'm many, sure, yeah. I'm sure you were shaking it a little bit uh, at that point, but... Well, I don't know, I don't know if, I was, if I was shaking. You know, the, the, here's how I assess the penalties. We, we can't do it, not against this team. If you give this team this many power plays, likely our penalty kill was really good. Um, to a large degree, you can you can categorize last night's win as a special team's win. Right. Um, but... At the same time, we, we can prevent those penalties if we start moving our feet. So when we're not moving our feet, I think we get ourselves in trouble. And as a result, I don't think we're drawing enough penalties because we're not moving our feet. So uh, it's something we talked about last night. We want to add to our game today. There's certainly a lot, certainly a lot we can add tonight. Um, we've got another step or two for sure. Hopefully, it's just the beginning. One of the guys I saw last night, when I went back and looked at all the pictures I took, I noticed that the silent assassin, I call him Roy Randolph, was not in any of them. He, he got always in the right place at the right time, and he scored two goals for the last night again, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. He's a gamer. Um, I mean, what, what can you say? That kid puts it on the line every night for us. Um, he's a leader in his own right. Uh, one of the top penalty killers in the ACHA, in my opinion, along with Ryan Olson, who we've ironically had to put back on Dean. He's done well, so we kept him there. So, um, you know, when you've got guys like that, um, those guys are just as important as a, as a goal scorer because they free up guys to score goals. Um, and in fact, we were joking around because we've got Grandov on that line between Ferguson and, and Zaleski, a couple of really skilled forwards, and he was joking about around how many debris points he can get or, or and whatnot, and then he goes and scores two goals, so good for him. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat, and, and all those goals were vintage Grandov goals in front of the net, taking a beating. Um, 
you know, just grimy in traffic, finding a way to cram pucks in, and and, and uh, certainly that's what he accomplished. And I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up Poppy again. What can you say about that kid? He's always scoring big goals for that. I thought that one at the end of the uh, second period was a big goal because it gave you that two goal cushion going into the third, right? Yeah, no question. I mean, then I couldn't say enough about Toppy as a kid, as a person, as a player, uh, defensively, offensively, his leadership. Um, he's he's just a he's just a great. He's the kind of kid you want in your program, plain and simple. Um, he, he's been a, a positive contributor in, in so many ways, on and off the ice. It, it's tremendous. Um, you know, he had the 2 on 0 with Westland, and, and give Felbel credit, he made a great save on that. But whether it be a pass, a shot, he's over 70% on faceoffs. He back checks hard every night. He's great 3 3 low. Um, uh, you know, I don't know how much time you got on your camera there, but I, I can keep talking about him all night. It's just it's a thrill to have him in our organization. Well, let's wrap it up with what do you guys do tonight? What do you expect tonight? Well, certainly we want to build off it. We, I think we understand it was a great night, but it was only one night. Uh, you know, winning a game on a Friday like that, um, the benefit of it is now we get to step in with an opportunity to sweep. I'm sure we're going to get the, uh, a, a next step, a higher level from ASU. Um, and I expect the same from us. We, we've got an opportunity at our fingertips here that we've got to be hungry for, and um, we're going to lay it on the line and see what we can do. How, much is the, uh, how important is the sweep of these guys at this point in the season? I think anytime you beat ASU, it matters. I don't care if it's in croquet or thumb wrestling. Um, you know, it's a rivalry for a reason. These teams mean more, without question. We haven't done a lot of it here. Uh, you know, what I what I want to remind these guys through the tough first semester is we continue to have landmark uh, victories. Um, you know, last year we were the first team in 13 years to get a victory in the national tournament. Uh, you know, we beat ASU for the first time uh, last month in four years. Now we're the first team in another four, year, four years to beat ASU on the road. Um, I'm going to look it up before we get in the room here, but it's, it's got to be the 80s since we've swept in ASU, and we've got our work cut off to accomplish that, but um, what an opportunity in front of us. Well, it's an exciting uh, game, an exciting weekend, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.